Hi guys, welcome back. Let's fix it. I had a request from a client to set up a semi-automated heating system. We have a installed system on one side. It's a museum, it's a church museum, been converted, and we have the existing church as well. It needs to be heated. So we have two separate systems. So we're gonna do this with two timers. One is for eight hours, the other one is for about two hours. The trouble is they run both off the one pump. So we need to separate them. And what we have is three isolating valves, which also need to be switched What we're gonna do is use these two relays to control each system. Here we have our two relays and we also have our two timers. These timers can be controlled from zero to 30 hours. We have a 24 volt transformer, which our lines, our control lines here. One stretches about 60 meters, the other one is about 20 meters. So we use 24 volt DC to get that distance for our control relays and timers. These will run on 230 volts AC or 24 volts DC. Very handy. Okay, so basically here's our setup. Here's our control switch and our push button. This is obviously down the other end of the control sequence. Here's our off position. We have manual, which says hand, but it's in German. Here's our indicator and our push button to activate our timer. So, what we got on here is our manual position, which will turn this relay on directly. So when we switch to here, we have our off position. We can turn everything off if you're coming from a manual position or an auto position. We'll shut the system down, turn this relay off. We go to auto. This will activate this timer, running the two hours or the eight hours that we selected, depending on where we are. You hit this button, that will activate the timer. This will activate this relay and start our system. So the plan is to have our first contact, and so this is the museum side. We'll have our circulating pump here running off this first contact. Our second contact we'll use for our isolation valves. One is up there. There's a activator with 230 volts. Here's the other section. It's hard to see. It's not installed yet, but up here will also be another valve. Here's our third valve up there. Well, up there she is. Okay, there's an explanation on the switch. Then we're in our manual position, which runs the heating constantly. We're connected to this red wire up here through the common. Common is commoned up to everything as well as the LED. So, going from red to black, we'll activate our relay, turning the heating system on permanently. And when we turn it on to off, obviously there's no connection anywhere, nothing's happening. When we turn it to auto, it's our yellow wire, which is running through our normally closed contacts here on the switch. Back to here and back to the negative, also activating the timer. Anytime the timer has power on it, it will count down the particular time that we set. Two hours or eight hours. Been eight, this has been eight hours on this side. Of after that time is finished, the red light will go out. Next day, someone comes along, pushes this button, interrupts the power to the timer, set it and off again for another eight hours. Also installed a thousand ohm resistor here for the LED. 24 volts are too much for the LED, obviously, it won't blow it up. So we reduce the voltage with this 1k ohm resistor okay folks we're going to continue on here we're going to drill a hole 
the single wire to come through. Measure twice, drill once. We've got to be careful when you're drilling through a floor, you never know what's underneath. Never be 100% sure, but let's give it a go. Measure twice, cameras here, endoscope, plug it straight into the smartphone, you can see wherever this goes. It's lit up with LEDs around the edge. I'll stick it down the hole because it's a little bit hard to get through. We'll just check it out. I'll record the video and I'll play it for you. Looks like we're through. Okay, here's the bottom of our hole. Hit a little piece of steel there, but it's okay. We can knock that out of the way, it'll be fine. Okay, let's wire this shit up. Alrighty folks, job all done. Got this one set up in eight hours, this one set up in two hours. I'll go upstairs, switch it on, and you tell me if you can see it come on. Thanks very much. Alright, let's try this out. There she goes. Okay, perfect. Timer running, relay on, pump running, valves open, system circulating. This job's done. That's it for next, till next time. Thanks very much for coming.